Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the 2021 Texas 6th Congressional District Special Election, as well as some mayoral and city council races to a lesser extent, but we're going to be looking at this election and the ramifications that it's going to have on the 2022 midterms. Now, a few things before we get started with this video I'm going to try to do quickly. Um... I did not, the big project that I teased, like, maybe he was a, probably a month by, by now, probably a month ago, I'm, I'm, I'm like, 80% done with that, I don't want to jinx it because of, because of it's so many screws with this project, but it might maybe be out next week, hopefully, it's, it might trigger a new series, which was gonna be, which would be interesting, it's, I enjoyed making it, but it's, but it took a long time, um, so we're gonna have to see, but I'm gonna definitely try to upload it. Like, I, like even if, even if I don't intend on making it into a series, but um, I thought you guys might want to know that because a few people have asked have asked me about it. So if you're waiting for that, uh, don't be don't worry. Assuming nothing goes terribly wrong within the next few days, it should be out soon. Um, and then second, uh, like I said earlier, my upload schedule is probably gonna be changing, and I'm going to probably start editing my videos more soon as you less analysis videos uh for for a few months maybe until like the end of summer uh and, and then and, and more edited videos because i'll have more time but i think that's it so first of all we should just talk about this race um between susan wright jake elizy and uh Jana sanchez and also brian harrison but uh right now i'm not really gonna focus on harrison or lassiter or castro but Essentially, just these three is the names you should remember. Wright, Elize, and Jan Jana Sanchez. So, for some background, th this was a seat that Donald Trump only um, only won by 3%. And Ron Wright, who was the incumbent, who unfortunately, uh, he passed away in February. He died of COVID-19 in February. Um, hopefully, he rests in peace. But, um, you know, he, he was... Um, he, 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 he overperformed Trump... By six, he won by nine in, in 2020. Um, but this race was still expected to be competitive. On Twitter, I did actually make a prediction. I said that uh, he was going to win by uh, or that uh, that Susan Wright or, or the Republicans were going to combine for around 10 percent more of the vote than Democrats. They ended up winning this race by nearly like 25 percent when you combine their candidates. So this was an honor performance by Democrats for sure, and this was pretty, you know. People, don't, don't listen to people, and, and here's what I want you to take away from this video. There are going to be a lot of people on Twitter who are saying that this means 2020 is going to be a red wave and the Democrats are doomed. Th those people are either doomers or the people who are wish-casting and extrapolating a result from an election. That is pretty meaningless. It had 20% turnout compared to the 2020 election, and, you know, relative to the 2020 election, we might see for a midterm, probably definitely more than 20% turnout, maybe like 60%, 70%. 75% turnout uh, for the midterm relative to the 2020 election. So again, this is a th this is a race we should not be looking too much into, but we should analyze it. But I'm just saying you shouldn't make a 2022 prediction based off of this election result. Uh, second, this race th the Republicans had were unusually strong here because uh, Susan Wright was the widow is the widow of Ron Wright, uh, and that. Obviously, I I feel terrible for her. I mean, losing her, her, her husband to COVID must have been heartbreaking. But politically speaking, that helped her in this race because of the sympathy vote factor, meaning that, you know, more moderate suburbanites who had voted for Biden in the election in, in, in November were more were likely to vote for her because, you know, Susan Wright, she's kind of she, she's kind of an unknown figure. She, she wasn't, you know, very Trumpian or very uh moderate so she had appealed to both trump voters and suburbanites which i think is a luxury for the gop nowadays you know because now they're kind of split into, into two main camps so Wright had that going for her and i think that she had uh suburban voters that were turning out for her uh because of that because of that and because of the sympathy vote factor so i think she had that going for her but that's still not an excuse for democrats i knew Wright was going to win was going to at least go to go to the runoff but Jenna Sanchez should have uh, made that runoff against uh, Jake Elize, or in, in, instead of Jake Elize. Elize was fairly unknown. I'd heard of him vaguely, and same with Sanchez. Uh, I, I knew right the best of these candidates, but Sanchez, I thought, was going to 
uh, win just, you know, as, because we shouldn't have seen in a district that's fairly competitive two Republicans finish in the top two. It was close. I mean, Elias only beat out Sanchez by a couple hundred votes, but there's still an excuse for Democrats to, to still not make not even make the runoffs. That's pretty embarrassing for them. Um, and I think that Sanchez should have made the runoff. And also, just taking a look at the results, Tarrant, so Tarrant County was the county that Donald Trump only lost by, like, he lost by, like, under 1%. This is a very suburban county that was a historic flip for Joe Biden. Uh, the, it, again, it's only part of Tarrant County. Tarrant County as a whole is, like, 2 million people. You couldn't even squish that into one congressional district if you tried. So part of Tarrant County, right here at this part, uh, this is... This is a pretty liberal part. Like, Joe, Joe Biden, I think he won this part of Tarrant County by, like, 10 or 12 percent, something like that. Um, and Susan Wright carried she carried Tarrant County. Sanchez came in second, but she still carried the county, um, which is pretty embarrassing uh, for her. Uh, Jake Elize ended up winning uh, Ellis County, which is a smaller county, uh, and Navarro County did go for Susan Wright. So, but the, the fact that, the, that this Democratic part of this chunk of Tarrant County that leans Democratic significantly went for uh, Susan Wright is 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 a bad sign for Democrats in the suburbs. So I think that th this was don't get me wrong, this was a bad performance for Democrats, but we still shouldn't and we shouldn't just we shouldn't just assume that this means anything for twenty twenty two. Also, the Democrats didn't even spend money in this race. I think that they knew that they could make it close, but they weren't going to win. So I think that they were right to not spend money here, and I, and I think they shouldn't be too worried. Now, this is still a bad performance for them. Again, don't get me wrong on that, but they shouldn't be too worried after they spent literally no money on this race. So I'd expect them to, you know, not... The, 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 I think they probably saw this coming, just not losing by 25. They probably thought they were going to lose by 15 or 20, maybe. But losing by 25, that's uh, pretty extraordinary, and this was a bad performance for Democrats. Now, there are some... Um, there were some other races that I think, uh, I'm just going to play this for a second so that I don't have to um, deal with that randomly turning on. Because I've had this turn on randomly, so I'm just going to mute it. But we're going to skip this ad and uh, mute that. So, um, taking a look at our uh, mayor races, there were two critical mayor races. Actually, there were three, but we're, we're only going to talk about two. There was the mayor of Denton, which is a suburban city. Denton somewhere up here. Can, can I... Find Denton. Denton, yeah. Denton is the 24th largest city in Texas and has around 136,000 residents. There was Denton, and then there was Arlington and um, Fort Worth. So these were pickups for the Democrats, all three. Uh, um, Arlington, J Jim Ross won that race, uh, and he was the Democratic endorsed candidate, as was Matty Parker in Fort Worth. So and then Denton, I don't think that they have results for Denton. Uh, Plano was, uh, Plano it, it was, I, I think, another Democratic pickup. I'm not sure, though. Um, but Denton was, uh, or sorry, the Denton City Council flipped to the Democratic Party. So right now, 10 of ten of these, all, all 10 of the largest cities in Texas have Democratic mayors. And that's pretty big for Democrats, not because they have a ton of power, but because, you know, when you have suburban Dallas and Areas that are typically Republican, like, like you know, go back 20 years, George Bush probably won these cities by 20 or 30%. Um, you know, Fort Worth, Arlington, uh, Plano, I think, too, although I'm not sure. Th these cities went Democratic for the first time in a very, very, since probably Lyndon Johnson in, like, 1964. So, it's important that we remember that although 99% of the discourse about May 1st elections they were talking about uh, the the sixth district, but the Democrats still scored some victories in city council, and they flipped the Denton city council. They also flipped some uh, some mayor uh, races, I guess you could say, uh, in some in some pre pretty crucial cities. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, and, and and I'm just going to uh, quote Steffi J on Twitter, uh, and she is uh, left leaning. She is talking about uh, this. Um, about people tell you just i'll read it for you you know how to read but i'll read it out gotta love all the folks claiming that one special election result spells doom for democrats in an election 18 months away from now while ignoring the fact that the democrats just scored major victories in denton and collin counties which are two counties that are very competitive these are two suburban dallas counties for the record uh and are running in the running for fort worth and arlington mayors uh and nine and as, as you mentioned 99 percent of people 
commenting on the Texas 6 election race around here, have literally never heard of Arlington and Plano and are just v- vaguely aware of Fort Worth. So to translate, Dems and Dem endorse Republicans might just lock down the mayors in 10 out of 10 of Texas's largest cities. So that's that's, that's basically going to leave you with – this was kind of a wash. I think that people are going to sc- sc- scream Republican victory here, and they did win this race. I'll give them credit for that, but I don't think that we should you know, draw any conclusions from this. So that's for this – that's what uh that's it for this video my apologies um if, if you just skip to the end for whatever reason uh it did probably didn't do any good because this was an analysis video but uh again for major announcements go back to the beginning where i talked about that but that's it guys please do leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already with that uh have a great day